Hey, welcome back after forever. Uh, this is podcast, I guess. Today with us we have me, Patrick, and also John. Yay! Yay. Oh, no one cares. <laughs> okay. Sorry, it's just the two of us. We just wanted to say that we're not dead. I know it's been a very long time since we even put anything up, but uh, we just thought we'd make a podcast thingy to talk about the con season that's coming up. Because everyone it's pretty exciting. Also, also Rachel is just busy with uh, schoolwork, and Mars has disappeared to this little place called. Uh, Los Angeles. I don't know. She's I don't in, know if you guys heard of it. She's in Hollywood. Yeah, she's, she's doing. She won't tell us what she's doing though. It's kind of weird. She's moved beyond us. She's better than us now. Maybe she'll come <laughs> back later. I Maybe. think she will actually. Yeah. So Maybe. We, we'll miss her. Yeah. Not not really. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I'm we'll sure she's rooting for us. And we're rooting for her. Yeah. You know, she she's, she's got no time for us. All right. Yeah. Big Hollywood Hollywood star now. So. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so. Today we're mostly going to discuss the con season that's coming up. So exciting. Um, if you're listening to this in any year other than 2016, this isn't going to be very relevant to you, but uh, that's what we're going to discuss. <laughs> Hopefully no one is listening to that, like, past 2016. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, <laughs> maybe they like our podcast so much that they want to just listen to it again and again and give us lots of views. That would be nice. Creepy. You don't have to, but that would be cool. Anyways, um, so yeah, con season coming up. John, yeah, I guess where are you going? Yeah, I guess I'll just we can just kind of go down the list of cons that we're going to. I know you're going to more than me. I always do. So, uh, oh yeah, and we also don't see each other too much at all, other yeah. than during the con season, right? We don't hang out or anything. So this is. I haven't seen this guy in like a year now, so it's pretty awkward, actually. Yeah, well... Anyway, <laughs> the f- the first con I'm going to this season uh, is actually coming up in a week. It's a week from when we record this. I don't know oh, when shit. it's going to You're right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually I'll do my best on March 18th. Yeah. And that is the Toronto... Comic Con, yeah, I believe. Everyone calls it MTAC, though. Yeah, I keep wanting to call it MTAC as well. Well, I still do. It doesn't yeah, matter. It's MTAC. It's got about maybe a thousand, two thousand people. Is it more than that now? Oh and, yeah. Oh, it's really? like a mini fan expo. Oh man, I couldn't get in last year because uh, they sold out. Tickets were sold out. So, uh, how much are the tickets? Maybe fifty dollars, I would say. I can look about, it up. About uh, fifty bucks and. What it is, is uh, just got some comic book stuff, some cosplay, uh, pretty boring, yeah. why would you even pay to go in kind of thing, yeah, right? The, the ticket prices, I'm just looking at them now. Uh, let's see, if you want to go for a single day it, on like Friday, it's only 20 bucks, that's not very much actually. Yeah, the Saturday 30, so, so it's about the... The twenty to fifty dollar range depend depending on uh, uh, how many days you go. That's not so bad. Uh, but is it? You've been inside way more than I have. Is it worth it to go inside? It to is pay to go in. It is if you want to be in a big crowd and maybe buy some stuff that's overpriced, or if you really like the celebrity guests. Uh, speaking of which, let's see this guests. What do they got? They've got. Uh, nobody anyone's heard of. Oh, they got the black guy from Ghostbusters. That's pretty cool. Um, That's it, though, right? Remember uh, Draco Malfoy's dad? He's there. I don't care. Uh, the guy from Star Trek. I don't care. Void? Uh, No. Okay, so maybe I'm not actually going to this one, it turns out. Um, No, but but I'll actually uh, probably lobby con it. You can pretty easily just kind of hang out, uh, you know, in the area without... Having well, to pay or anyone harassing you. Yeah, right? I'm so. probably not going to go inside. What I'll do, like I do every year, is hang around the con building. Maybe go in the lobby or something if I care enough. Or I'll probably just hang out at the Steam Whistle across the street, which is a brewery. Oh, that, that's true. That yeah. I go to, like at Fan Expo and MTAC, because 
you know, there's nothing else to do really if you don't want to go inside. Uh, and then there's also the park. You can take pictures there if you're a photographer. Um, yeah, the cosplayers hang out outside as well, so you don't really need to pay for it. So that was MTAC, yeah. I guess. MTAC. Good times. Um, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, there's not really anything else after that until... Unless oh. you're talking about... Oh, man, I'm getting Are embarrassed talk just talking about this. <laughs> the Kitchener Comic-Con. That's oh. right. You heard it right. <laughs> Kitchener. Kitchener. Oh, man. Have they had one before? I think this one's been uh, probably the fourth one now, I feel like. Because I used to live in uh, live in Kitchener, and and did you go <laughs> before? Hell no, I did cool not go. Yeah. No, now that I don't live there anymore, I kind of want to go. And this one, <laughs> this is Kitchener Comic Con 2016, and it hap it is happening uh, on April 2nd. I believe that's a Saturday. I'm not sure why you know it isn't a Friday to um, a Sunday thing, but it's Saturday. It's only Saturday? Uh, uh, it's probably Saturday and Sunday, but it starts on Saturday. I've heard of that before. With small cons, they start off with just one day, and then they just they grow it as the con grows. Because a lot of first-year cons, I know this isn't a first-year con, but a lot of first-year cons only do the Saturday. And then they branch out to the Sunday, and then... It's typical for them to be the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, I guess they're just uh, small as of yeah. right now, perhaps. Like, All right. for perspective, some of the largest cons go Thursday, Th Yeah, that's true. Monday yeah. even. Yeah. Like like the actual San Diego Comic Con. Right? Yeah, I, I that's, that's like, like a whole week Yeah, almost. exactly. Yeah. yeah, so that one is in Kitchener. Uh, it's at the, uh, um, what's that called? The government building. City Hall. It's a city hall. That's <laughs> They're having right. it at City Hall. I, I believe so. That's uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, I heard it's pretty mediocre. Yeah, so, I would assume so. You know, it's just to fill the gaps in between uh, MTAC and the next one, which is the big one. Wait, wait. Are you looking up guests at the Kitchener Comic Con? Now? Nope. Nope. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No one's going to go to it no, anyway. Okay. Yeah. But it's a thing that's happening, and I might, you know, lobby con it like I always do. Yeah, okay. So no problem there. Well, the next large one is the one that everybody goes to, uh, Anime North. Um, there's not much to say about it that we haven't already said. Uh, it's, you know, it's in Toronto, near the airport. Well, you know, it's the same every year, but it seems like we got a big news uh, at AN this year, from from what I've heard, do you have you do you know who Yaya Han is, Pat? Yes. Have you heard of this is she, figure? Is she coming? Oh, there's there's murmurs. There's been, there's been saying. <laughs> In fact, yeah, I I actually heard that Jessica Negri was supposed to come one year, but she never did. Um, not that that's really a big loss, but uh, oh. <laughs> Yaya Han. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hand coming. That's just yeah, just got big. some rumors, you know. Yeah. I don't know if it's true though. Mm. That's all I gotta say. She could. Well, I mean, I guess that's a big deal because Anime North has only really ever had voice actor guests or like J-pop type guests. What, what were the, you know, those the ones they fly in from Japan? Yeah, like most people probably don't care about kind of thing, <laughs> yeah. right? That's and what they spend their guest budget on, and yeah. I don't know why they haven't tried to get actual big guests. We just looked at the website, and she is confirmed. It's not a rumor. Go look at an.com.au whatever it is. Dot, dot, <laughs> dot website. Gov forward slash yeah, an, I... and uh, you'll see that she's in the guests under cosplay. So that's a big deal. She They uh, they managed to get Yaya Han. That, I think they could have been able to do that years ago, but I don't know why they didn't. Um, yeah, that's true. I think she's she's a pretty pretty respectable, um, I guess, uh, what, like a face of cosplay. I guess, right? Is that yeah? Hard to say. Like she she is a good costumer, uh, and you know she does a lot of costumes, and she seems pretty nice. Yeah, and uh, she works hard. Good yeah. Stuff. Yeah, she's been on TV. That's a big thing, right? Oh, yeah, she has been <laughs> on TV. That's true, yeah. Yeah, 
That's true. So, so I, I mean, as far as famous cosplay personnel goes, like she is, uh, if she, if she's not the top, she's got to be in the top three, I would say. Yeah. Um, Pretty cool. It's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So the <laughs> next one after An An is uh, An is on May twenty seventh, I believe. It's a Friday, Friday yeah. to Sunday. And the next one coming up should be Yetikon. No, actually, no. Sorry, one before that. I didn't say There's that. There's one before that. Colossal Con is before Yetikon. It's a week before. I don't think it is. I think it is. I'm serious. Uh, Which you are going to that, aren't you? I am going to Colossal Con. It's good. I've talked about it before. It's probably my favorite con. You know, they do it at the water park. Uh, and it's in Ohio. It's good. How long <laughs> of a drive is that from uh, the GTA? Um, it's a good part of a day. I'd say it takes like six hours if you make good time. Six uh, hours? Yeah. Because you have to drive across the border around, yeah you have to drive around lake erie actually oh so falls i don't want to you can either go through the falls and go through upstate new york pennsylvania mm-hmm. ohio or you can go down through detroit so, so how much would a would a weekend like that cost you if you're staying with uh three other people in, in a hotel room so there's gas you yeah gotta split that um how much is that two hundred dollars of gas yeah that's not uh, no, it's not enough. Probably like, I'd say it takes a tank of gas, maybe a bit more to get there, and then it's probably three tanks of gas. If you which is about uh, a tank of gas is probably about uh, fifty bucks for your car, so it's about one hundred fifty dollars. So less than two hundred. So yeah. Tw- so two hundred for gas, and then hotel uh, for two nights is should be about four hundred dollars. I'm getting three nights, I think. Three nights. So, it should be about $600 then. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I guess, food. So, all in all, for four people, if you're splitting, you know, just for you, that's about 400 to $500 for the weekend. That's pretty... I'm pretty, you know, overestimating here. I think 400 you can do that. Maybe even 350 if you are smart Maybe about each. it. Each. Yeah. So, not, 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 not horrible. Not bad. You gotta, you know, go to Ohio. Pretty yeah. Fun. Good stuff. So... Yes, Colossal Con is happening on June 2nd. I believe that's a Thursday. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I'm sure that's just, you know, pre-reg and all that good stuff, right? So, yeah. You know, not, not, not a big not uh, a big one. So, uh, you know, June uh, June 2nd is a Thursday till June 5th, it's a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Which means that the weekend after that is June 10th. And that is YetiCon. Okay. So yeah, YetiCon. YetiCon. First year, right? Now, this is a, this is a this is I'm excited about this one. Yeah. I, I think I'm going. I I think I'm going. <laughs> well, the 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 reason why I, I think it's interesting is because it, it's only a week, uh, you know, after Colossal Con, and the vibe I'm getting from this from YetiCon is that it it's very similar there. to what kind of. Uh, like the, the the vibe that that they're going for is similar to Colossal Con. It's like a resort, yeah. And there's like swimming, and there's like zip lines, and 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 there's like mini, mini golfing and all that stuff. So, so so you know what I'm saying? It's like a it's like a resort con. Yeah, because they're they're probably trying to copy Colossal Con and success I, at least. That's what I I'm, that's what I'm thinking so, as well. Like actually, yeah, yeah Yeti Con. They t- it takes place at Blue Mountain Resort. That would be a place that most people know for skiing, but this is going to yeah, be in June. That's so, right. Uh, uh, I guess to be f- it's to be fair, they season. they are um, as far as I know, they are open all season. The Blue Mountain uh, Resort they're open all season because people do go hiking uh, in the summer. Yeah. But from what I know, it is a skiing resort. That's yeah. Uh, mostly. That's what most people go there for, uh, which is uh, good. That means it's kind of going to be the off season and we probably exactly. have exactly. too many normies <laughs> well, <laughs> we, <laughs> all around. well I don't know I guess they uh, I don't know what it's like there in the summer but it should yeah. be less busy um, but yeah so they've got a resort it's up on Georgian Bay I think 
uh, up sort of near Wasaga Beach and mm-hmm. all that. So if you're going from, uh, you know, the Toronto area, uh, assuming you're driving, it might take about two hours and maybe a little more. I maybe. Would say. Yeah. It's it would, about you that. could probably do it in under two. Just don't stop. It's only two. It's yeah. not that far. Yeah. You, you take the highway and, and that's about it. One highway, I, I think. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and, 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 and this con, since it's it's its first year, uh, I guess the ticket prices are actually pretty cheap. I don't know how they managed to do that unless I read it wrong because uh, I actually looked it up last night because I was interested in uh, buying some tickets early. And it seems like even if you buy it, like the non-early bird pre-reg... Oh, oh okay, not early bird, but the... Um, pre-register price is actually only $40 for the whole weekend. The whole weekend, okay. Yeah, I don't know how they could afford that and also have access to the resort. I'm not sure how that works. And you might be wondering, well, yeah, the tickets are cheap, but what about the hotel rooms? Well, Well. (laughs) I also looked that up, and they uh, seem to have a a discount rate for uh, YetiCon. I didn't check how much it would be without the discount rate, but with the discount rate is a uh, two single uh, one room, uh, one like one bath and two double beds for the weekend, so two nights, Saturday, uh, Friday night and Saturday night, and it is about three hundred and seventy dollars plus tax. Plus tax, S- it will have to add tax after that. Okay. So total would be about four ten maybe. Mm. Not not bad, because you can for fit, a resort. Yeah, yeah that's that is decent. so. It's actually very cheap. In fact, I don't think I would have a reason to go to Blue Mountain. So this might be like I wouldn't just go to what to hike. I wouldn't do that, or to camp. I wouldn't do that. So this might be a good excuse well, for some of us. Aren't you a skier though? Wouldn't you? I am. I haven't been to Blue Mountain though. Okay. Uh, and excuse me, I snowboard. Okay. <laughs> skiing, skiing's for nerds. It's for nerds. <laughs> so. Okay. Fair enough. So. So check check this one out. Yeah. First year, let's give them some support. It it seems like it's pretty well organized, and yeah, and I I think I'm excited for it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will be going up for a day. I think. Uh, it's close enough that I can justify doing that, and it's. You know, it's right after Anime North and Colossal Con, so I'll be broke. <laughs> okay, coming up next. Now, we're kind of getting into the uh, end of the con season now. I'm sure we've missed a bunch of small cons. but This isn't just... the end of the con season. We're only in June. Uh, I guess I guess that's true, yeah. They Maybe for like your September. con season. Yeah, for my con season. <laughs> I, don't go to, I don't go to the other ones. But the next one that would be coming up is uh, Con Bravo. Is that the next one? Well, for me at least, I'm sure there. I'm sure there are a bunch of yeah, them too. But I, for for me, I think. Oh, I'm probably one. thinking of like cosplay picnics and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I those I, I go to those too. And Con Bravo is in uh, Hamilton. It's a Hamilton Con, and yeah. it's happening on July 29th. Yeah, it's pretty it's always pretty late, late to the to the season, right? So, 20, the 29th is a Friday, and then goes till the Sunday, the 31st. Yeah. First. yeah. I. I sort of work for Con Bravo, and I remember last year uh, was right in the middle of the Pan Am Games, so the hotels in the area were all filled with football fan, like soccer, you know what I mean, uh, fans uh, and their teams, because that's where the finals, the finals were held in Hamilton that weekend. Uh, so it was a pretty hectic time, and we got a lot of stares, you know, cosplayers and stuff, but... Did you say I'm right back? I guess, because I... <laughs> Sports. I got into a, uh elevator once in the hotel, and there was a whole Mexican football team <laughs> got on and went off on the, some other floor. But that, yeah. that, that sounds like the, the, the beginning of uh, some of the movies I've seen, you know, a team yeah. of football players in a, in a, in a hotel room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was uh, it was kind of crazy, but that the Pan Am Games are not on this year, so yay, yay, <laughs> yeah, less stressful. True. And now I went to um, I went to Con Bravo for about one night last year, one night. Yeah, and you know I keep hearing you know people talking about how bad you know the venue is, but 
really, I think it's pretty good. I don't it's think I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't know why people. The venue. Well, were, the problem people have with it is because it's dark. It's like an old building, and I guess they designed it with a lot of brickwork, and um, there's not a lot of natural light. So that's really the only problem with it. But mm-hmm. I mean, the space is fine. Uh, everything else is good about it, and it's in a good location too. So. The last con that I will go to for this year, if it's even happening, would be Atomic Lollipop. Lollipop. Yeah. And I've been checking, you know, I've been checking the Facebook page all day, all week, and they've got nothing. The closest thing they have to when the con is happening uh, is a comment from uh, a week ago when someone asked them, Hey, when when is this happening? And then they just said, you know, keep an eye on the page. We'll <laughs> we'll announce something really soon. And All right, well, and and you know, and I, I'm and, on the official and website. We're still there. So I'm at the source. What they say here is location to be announced. Hours: summer 2016. So they do have a convention this year because they have hours Friday. Saturday, oh, so Friday. it is happening. Yes, yeah, so it is happening. They're, they're just probably still finding a venue. If to they be haven't honest. found a venue, that means they uh, they're definitely not going to be at the Science Center unless I agree. they've been in negotiations with them. They must yeah. have had some sort of issue because yeah. I heard the Science Center liked a pop. Um, I don't know who I heard that from. I can't remember, but I'm I heard not, it. I'm not. Sh- I'm not sure if anyone a, likes the crowd of A-pop. <laughs> I love A-pop, but you know. Yeah, but otherwise uh, the website just people has get loud. All the 2015. All right. You know. Well, we'll get. I guess we'll uh, keep in, keep a close eye on this. And from 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 what I've heard, um, A-pop usually happens about a week before or after uh, usually con bravo so it'll be around uh, late July that's when they'll happen actually yeah the so. funny thing about it, it says hours like Friday Saturday Sunday it doesn't say the dates on yeah, this so we, no, so so it's obviously they're they're probably still uh, negotiating with you know venues to see who would let them in yeah and obviously they can't pick a date yet they just know that it's gonna be on a weekend yeah fair that's fine. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, hopefully, they can get the same weekend they had. Yeah, uh, but I don't think there's much else in July other than Con Bravo. That's a big deal. That's right. That's right. Around at here, least at least in the GTA. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um. So anyway, since that's the end of your that's list, the end of my season. Um. What you got? Anything in August? I've been considering uh, Otakuthon. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go this year. Ooh, that. Oh man, I got some experience at that one two years ago. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it was. You know, it's everyone was mad that. <laughs> oh yeah. Everyone was everyone mad was at something. I don't know mad, why. Salty. Yeah, yeah that has salty. nothing to do with the people no, at the con. It's just it our group that was salty. But um, I like Otakutan. Um, it's just a matter of do I want to pay for it after a very busy early con mm-hmm. season. And um, it's far. It's, yeah, it's about six, maybe, six-ish hours at least. It's far. Yeah. I think more than that, probably closer to six to eight, I would say. It's more accurate. It's far. It's in Quebec, which is always, you know. Fun. (laughs) Fun. And it's expensive. I wouldn't say it's any more expensive than any other con, really. It's just that. Otakuthan is it takes a while to get there and you have to deal with uh, if you don't speak any French at all um, it's a bit difficult in some regards but it's bilingual the con so you'll mm-hmm. probably get by. that's true yeah. uh, and, and I've heard <laughs> I've heard a lot of stories about you know people kind of uh, people as in the con goers the con goers getting harassed yeah by uh, I guess the French Canadians yeah. we don't like to they don't get it they <laughs> yeah, don't we, get it guys we don't we don't yeah. like this the, the, the French Canadians don't understand us would them. you recommend people to go to Otakuthon yeah From the con GTA? is good. Uh, yeah a lot of people do that it's pretty fun so I would mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've done it so mm-hmm. and then I guess the one after that is Labor Day weekend 
Fan Expo. That's the big one. Um, I might buy a pass for like one day if I go. Uh, and then the rest of the weekend I'll spend either in the park or at the steam whistle. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's my pastime. I just, <laughs> rather than go to the con, I'll just... I mean, I'm mostly going to see friends, right? Yeah. So... And the park is full of cosplayers anyway yeah. and people that that's you right. know. So there's no real that's point right. to go inside and be... Like, what, what's it like inside? I've never been inside. Have you ever been in a really crowded place before? <laughs> I guess. Is uh, that? <laughs> is that that's it? That's what the just, dealer's room is like. Oh, man. Does it um, smell bad, too? Uh, Actually, it's got a high ceiling, right? So yes, not really. But... The the only place the only part of that room that's that I ever remember smelling bad was the horror, uh, horror um, room. Like it's not section? a room. It's part of the. It's the section. Why does it smell bad? Uh, I guess because sweat and latex. <laughs> oh no. Um, I don't think it. It's not anymore, really. But one, like when I first went to Fan Expo years ago, that's what I remember that the horror section kind of smelled weird. Um, that sucks. Fan Expo is like a convention for all genres. They even had a sports thing like yeah, I remember that, two yeah. years ago, maybe yeah. last year, and that was a failure, so I don't think they're doing it again. <laughs> and oh boy, if you want to get some uh, signatures from, from, <laughs> from the celebrities you like, prepare to empty your bank account mm-hmm. because they are not cheap. Okay, they I'm are gonna... for sure not cheap. And I believe... Some of the uh, some of the more popular ones, like for example, someone like uh, you know uh, the bald guy from Star Trek. What's his name? The bald guy from Star Trek. Captain Picard. Like yeah, his real name. Uh, I Donald, forgot his name uh, for some reason. Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. Remember Patrick Stewart. Um, like if he went, you know, his signature would probably cost you like a hundred bucks or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so since so this it's is expensive. It's since expensive. this is March when we're recording this, and it's in August, they haven't really put a lot of guests up actually the only guest they have is stan lee which I, which by himself might be enough to uh, you know attract a lot of uh and they haven't put out the fees yet but um there are there are celebrities that will charge over 100 bucks per like photo op or maybe a signature or anything even if you just want to stand in line yeah. and go and talk to them you have to pay mm-hmm. obviously it depends on who it is we're talking about like the more a-list celebrities right because yeah if well, someone who's like less well known he might not charge as much and he might not really care if you take a few pictures you know while yeah. you're in line they might not, might not care but i've heard you know a lot of stories about people trying to sneak a few pictures while they're in line mm-hmm. of the eight of the more a-list celebrities and then they, they got you know they got kind of yelled at a little bit so yeah well, the thing is, I don't think the people they have at Fan Expo are really A-list. They're more like B-list. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, A-list as far as, you know, comic book things yeah, go, I guess. I guess. But if you're like talking about like actual A-list, like right now it would be like someone like Robert Downey Jr. or something, right? Yeah, or, because, or, or, or like, DiCaprio. Uh, they, oh, those kind of people. Yeah, well, yeah they won't go to that. Well, I'm just saying like comic books related. Why would Leo you know, DiCaprio yeah. go? <laughs> So yeah, it'll be sure. it'll be Robert Downey Jr. or like I don't know like uh, Chris Chris Evans Evans you yeah. know that would be like an A list right they're way too big for this I think well, they're way maybe. too busy maybe I wouldn't be surprised if like um, they had celebrities like maybe Henry Cavill from oh yeah uh, Superman uh, that, that that I that could see be, them having yeah but. that that one yeah but um, not like. You know, not like the Marvel, big Marvel guys, I don't think. Yeah, they probably... So not unless those. it's the small Marvel Yeah, guys. unless it's like, uh, like Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> so, some people like Hawkeye. No, I, I'm not making fun of Hawkeye. I'm just, <laughs> you know, it's Hawkeye. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, he shoots stuff. <laughs> That's his superpower. Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyways, Fan Expo is the one that sort of caps off the season, because that's... Labor Day, you know how Labor Day sort of ends the summer, so that's what mm-hmm. it does. And that's then right. there's a lot of nothing until... Well, actually, isn't there a con in... What's that con in September in, called? Are you talking about the Halloween thing? No. Oh, I forget nope, what it was called. I don't know what you're talking about. Where <sighs> is it? Where is it located? Toronto. Oh, um, 
Unplugged. They moved it to summer, though. So they're having it July 31st to August 2nd, so it's like the weekend after Con Bravo. Yeah, you know what? I might, because I live close enough, so I might, yeah. stop, I might stop by. July 31st. Yeah, so anyways, after that, after all the summer is over with... There's That's nothing. about the end of the con season, right? Yeah, and then there's Yomacon, which I go to every year. It's in Detroit. Um, it's kind of cold. Uh, I I wouldn't say there's anything too special. Eh, it's okay. It's good. It's good. It's good enough for me to go every year, so mm-hmm. I guess that means something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mm-hmm. like it. Yeah, so that was like like 10 cons that we just talked about. There's MTAC, Kitchener, Comic Con, AN, Con Bravo, Yeti Con, APOP, Colossal Con, Unplugged, yeah. and the big one, which is the Fan Expo in September. So that's like ten cons that you can go to uh, this con season. At minimum, yeah. There's yeah, at minimum, some more yeah. That we missed, and and also there. What? How, how long is the con season? Like six months, maybe. So that's like ten yeah. cons to go to in six months if you really want there to. There are sometimes in the middle of summer when there's a th- something happening every weekend. Yeah. Well, there's like the uh, be the picnic picnics or, or just uh, some kind of gathering. Yeah. Happens all the time. Usually they happen. In either High Park uh, in Toronto or Korea Park, Korea Park or in Mississauga. There's also the island. Um, has yes. that happened? Did that happen last year? Um, I not. Sh- I don't think so. But I missed that. W- what's part. that one like? Um, you take a ferry into the middle yeah. of the island, right? Yeah. Yep. So lots of stuff in between. Uh, you know the big cons. So if you if you're going to all of them, if you can afford the time and money, that's like <laughs> that's like twenty things that you can go to in yeah. six months. You never have a weekend without uh, without cosplay, and you know you can weep weep out every weekend yeah. if you really want to. But it doesn't really get started until after until an and then yeah. it starts getting yeah. really busy. Well, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I think uh, I think it's going to be a good time. Um, we just talked about conventions and stuff for however long that was, and uh, we just wanted to tell you guys that we're still here. We exist still. We uh, we just uh, don't don't really do this in the winter time, I guess. Yeah, the thing is, we do have a backlog of older episodes that we've recorded. We we might we might we might re-record. Them. We might re-record. We might release them. We'll, we're gonna figure out what we want to do with them. Um, we did record them in like professional studio and uh, everything so yeah I, I don't I don't think people without listening to this if anyone is listening I don't think they really care too much about the <laughs> no. quality <laughs> no. either but obviously we can't have it you know too bad yeah you gotta, gotta be, be good cle- at least clear and you can hear what we're saying but so I hope you've been able to hear this <laughs> yeah you know we <laughs> don't just expect not some garbled yeah this is just for fun it'll yep. be fun so, should we uh, end this on a high note? Uh, there you go. Uh, anyways, my name has been Pat. And I am Jan. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for uh, listening to our podcast, I guess. 